O you who listen and who watch, know that to kill a slugi is as serious a crime as to kill seven men. I heard the poet say that the slugi is not a dog. Of all creatures, the slugi, by his grace and his nobility, brings joy to the soul of his master and fills him with pride. For 5,000 years, he has inspired man's tales. Here for you is one of these many tales. Hossein is a hunter, and his slugi is his only weapon. Hossein does not possess his slugi, but both are possessed by the fever of the hunt. They have been together for six years. Before, Hossein was only a shepherd with a few sheep. One day, an old hunter gave him his slugi, but refused to say from whence he came. Hossein named him Jna. Jna means wing of the bird, because Jna is the fastest of all the slugis. But one day, fate caught up with Jna and led him there, where he should not have gone. Into the land of the Gaid, lord and master of the province. before the princess of the Slugis and her servant, Yasmina. To the feet of the Kaid Slugia, the soul of beauty. But one does not presume to disturb the slugia of the Kaid. And one does not speak to the servant Yasmina. Had this encounter not taken place, Shana's story would have been very different. As for Hussein, the hunter, he could not have dreamt of what would come to pass. The Slugia lives in the palace of the Kaid. He named her Zia. Zia means light. She is the light of his life. Everyone knows that the Kaid indulges her, overlooking her little caprices. Zia, the apple of his eye, has been ready to bear children for a year now. For a year, the Kaid has been searching for a suitor worthy of his princess. He wants to find for her the most handsome slugi in the province. He has entrusted the Mokadem, his hunting master, with this most important task. Every day, the Mokadem brings males before him. But none of them are worthy of Zia. 
If this continues, a new Mokadem may soon take the place of the present Mokadem. To please the Kaid and to win back his favor, the Mokadem has come up with an idea. The Mokadem himself spreads the word that the Kaid is searching for a male worthy of his slugia. All the suitors must come to the palace. There will be a great hunt in order to choose the best of them all. The reward is to be a horse. A horse from the palace stables. Above all, there must be no mongrels. On this day, Hussein realized that Jannah's destiny would be fulfilled. Of all the slugis, Jannah has the most qualities to recommend him. His jaw is powerful. His shoulders are muscular, his chest is full. His ears sit high on his head, perfectly set. Hussein has always known that his slugi was of noble birth. Let it be known, Jana, that you will be chosen to become prince. As soon as the Kaid sets eyes on you, he will know. They have come from every province, for the horse, of course, but above all, for the promise of a princely marriage. Each man knows that his slugi is the best, but only one of their number will be chosen. The Mokadem casts his eye over each and every suitor and he points to those he deems fit to appear before the Kaid. <laughs> Jannah's story might have ended here. His worth could have been acknowledged once and for all. Unfortunately for him, Yasmina, the Slugia servant, was also the Mokadem's daughter. The Mokadem is the most protective of fathers. No one may speak to his daughter, especially not a poor shepherd like Hussein. So the Mokadem looked on Jana with scorn and claimed to see in him every possible flaw.
And so Jannah was not able to appear before the Kaid and his princess. And Hossein's pride was very deeply injured indeed. A curse on the Mokadem. As for the love between Jana the Sluki and the Slugia, Hussein was sure that they were never to meet again. But destiny works in mysterious ways. The servant Yasmina was destined to hold the key to Zia and Jana's love. <laughs> the Mokadem watches over the land of the Kaid just as he watches over his daughter. On that day, he called Hossein every name under the sun. Nothing in the world can stop an argument between two hunters. Nothing, except the news that a great hare has been spotted nearby. The little shepherd spoke of a hare as big as a gazelle. This is the opportunity chosen by the master to test the skill of the suitors. The hare sleeps during the day. He takes cover so well that one could be right upon him without knowing it. Sense. Finding sense. A trail. They must follow their instincts and Jana's fine nose. Hossein never hunts in a group. He is like the hare. He doesn't like noise. The hare is clever. He moves and leaps and bounds, and he who follows his scent suddenly loses it. So one has to guess which way he has gone. <laughs>
the Kaid could have seen Shana. If only Zia could tell the Kaid whom she would choose. Without knowing it, that day Jana went straight toward his destiny. And the Kaid, who had never seen him, was struck by the beauty of the slugi who had been hidden from him. <laughs> Yasmina told him Jana's name. He learned nothing from the silent Hussein. So he decided to see for himself. Rare is the slugi who knows how to capture a hare without killing it. It is a female who will soon have little ones. Oh, you who escaped the pack of the Kaid, let it be written that you will live long and that your children once born will inherit your cleverness. Kaid had seen Jana, but he didn't know of the Mokadem's insult against him.
شو سعادة القيد لا سعادة لا سعادة في البركة استقبل القيد لا سلا Everyone dreams of owning a thoroughbred horse, but no horse, regardless of his beauty, will buy back Shana's honor. سيدي الله السيد معنا اليوم. اجنا اش تقود علينا اش مريض ولا مال؟ The insult against Shana will forever separate him from Zia. Know, Hossein, that you are not worthy of anyone's attention. A man's honor is worthless if he cannot see the pain suffered by his loyal slugi. There is no insult so great that it may not be forgiven. So ended the story of Jana and Zia. Instead of a horse, Hussein asked the Kaid for the young slugi of his choice, and the Kaid granted his request, for the Kaid is great and just. Oh, you who listen, you will remember that this one is more than a slugi among slugis. His name is Son of Jannah, and he will be prince among princes. Let it be so. <laughs> 